Now, uh, uh, your your effort grew out of the local community mm -hmm. and support. How did you guys get started individually in cosplay? Mm. And what inspired you to take this from, well, this would be a good idea to, let's do it. Mm. We'll Kickstarter it. We'll get it off the ground. <laughs> how, how, did you, how did you come to this, yeah. this point? It's a lot of work. <laughs> That's a really good question. So my personal start with cosplay was, um, <clears throat> well, I've been sewing since I was about seven. Uh, wow. And um, at some point I got into anime. I started an anime club in my high school. And then one of my friends actually dragged me out to a convention for the first time. And a couple hours before the convention, she's like, oh, here's some fabric. I'm going to throw it at you. Let's go make some costumes. And <laughs> wow. lo and behold, I'm hooked ever since. Nice. I've been cosplaying pretty much every single convention and outside wow. of conventions. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. And I've absolutely loved it. Uh, the reason that this space is so important for me is because of the community. Mm. So I can go home and I can sew and I can look something up on, you know, a website mm. and I can figure out how to do these things. And I love that part of it. But then I also love going to conventions and seeing someone there and being like, oh, my goodness, my costume broke. I don't know what to do. And be like... I've got a glue gun. I'm going to fix it right here and right now. And yeah. to be able to teach some of these skills, to be able to learn from other members in the community, to see this on more than just, you know, going to a convention, to see this on like, you know, once a week or every single uh, day would yeah. be absolutely fantastic for me. Absolutely. Yeah, some of us cool. have some pretty close friends from all over the world, all mm -hmm. over the U.S. Mm -hmm. at least, that we've met through conventions. It would be nice to see, you know, cosplay friends more yeah. often than once a year, right? Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Make some cosplay friends at Pseudo cosplay nice. Nice. I think uh, some of us actually met through cosplay mm. yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of funny yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I did meet Sabrina at Dragon Con <laughs> I met you at Dragon Con yeah, yeah. there we are <laughs> <laughs> different Dragon Cons but still okay. Dragon Cons yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so now I'm, I'm kind of curious anime is one area of cosplay but mm -hmm. cosplay spills into several different genres and mm -hmm. subcultures what, what are some of the other ones outside of anime that uh, you've seen and thought, oh, this would be great, or participated in and said, we're going to do this in the future? Mm. Um, I think that the best way to kind of include everything is anything that is a fandom mm. is a part of cosplay. Mm. So you've got, you know, the Doctor Who fandom, the Harry Potter fandom, the Marvel fandom, the DC fandoms. Um, any of the, the movies. Game of Thrones. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I've seen people Battle dress Star up Galactica. as Flo yeah. from the Progressive commercials. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Why Absolutely. not? Wow. Right? Yeah. Fans? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite is when somebody's cosplaying fan art of a character. Mm. Like this is a particular interpretation with this costume from this that's one piece of art. That's a big deal. Um, yeah. And it's it because one thing that's wonderful about cosplay, it's not just dressing up as something for Halloween, mm -hmm. but you're actually transforming into a character and you can put your own take on it. I mean, that's yeah. part of the mm -hmm. fun to kind mm -hmm. of stylize a little bit. And so like DeviantArt, for example, yeah. is a very popular site for like putting your own take on some kind of thing that you're a fan of. Um, and it is typically, we, we mention people when we're doing uh, cosplay intro panels, mm -hmm. Just etiquette. If you're going to be cosplaying a deviant artist's <laughs> thing, you should probably mention it to them or ask them if it's okay first. <laughs> yeah. but, but nonetheless, it's just it's a thing because it's just so huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, like mashups. We did a panel on yeah. mashups mm -hmm. at um, at Katsukon that. recently. Mm -hmm. um, we've been we've done group mashups uh, like quite a few times. It's a lot of fun. Now, it's so much fun. No, by mashups, I'm <laughs> relatively um, new to cosplay mashups of multiple characters or within so, the same person? Or? So it's it, oh, you yeah. can do, uh, yeah, different like fandoms. Mm -hmm. You can have uh, two characters mashed up. Uh, uh, you can have two shows mashed up. I think one of the more creative ones that I've seen that I was like very impressed <laughs> with was a Victorian Neon Cat. So wow. it was Victorian <laughs> mashed up with wow. a meme. And it turned out fantastic. She had the entire okay. tail, and it was all wow. just the the rainbows in the back, and the front part nice. of the skirt was, you know, the the whatever that is toaster strudel <laughs> thing. Yeah. So that <laughs> takes it from yeah. just uh, imitation to completely new creation. It's absolutely art form. yes. It really is. Yes. I mean, performance art is yeah. a way to describe cosplay. Absolutely. Do 
do you intend to have any uh, class or training for people who want to imitate their characters' uh, behaviors once they do dress up? Or if you know? the community asks for it, why not? Community right? driven. Yes. We do give um, panels also on uh, on photography, like how mm -hmm. to get the most out of your photos shoot, or if you're at a convention, like the hallway shoots and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we go into like the posing, the getting into character, the, mm -hmm. the rehearsing it. Mm -hmm. Like, just thinking about like how your prop is going to come into play with, because yeah. cause the play part of cosplay is role playing. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. just wearing a costume, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> and the one thing that I do want to kind of point out is that, yes, cosplay is and a huge part of what we want to do is have a space to create your cosplay. But cosplay is not just about the costume. It's about wearing the costume. It's about yeah. the play, as Owning Steph it. just Owning mentioned it. it. <laughs> so you can per go out and you can buy a costume and you don't have to do anything to it. You just put it on. But the play part, the part where you act it out, mm. that's also important. And for everybody, their cosplay experience is different. Mm -hmm. Everyone cosplays a little bit differently. Yeah. Yeah, something that struck me was that idea of being able to have a space where you can um, not only build your costume, but also inhabit it for a little bit. Instead of just being around at home, you can kind of get a feel <laughs> of, okay, how does this look on me? You know, if, if I walk this way, what effect does that uh, make? Exactly. And that's, that's cool. why I got into cosplay, because, you know, Halloween is every day. I'm, <laughs> it's not enough just to, to dress up as something else. Mm -hmm. I like to transform into something else. It's mm. fun to go put on someone else for a little while yeah. mm -hmm. and, and sometimes in a way um, you know if you look at like the types of characters people choose the, their motivations for it the full spectrum mm -hmm. but something fun to do is to wear an outer expression of an inner characteristic that you don't and normally get to yeah. get to be this mm -hmm. facet that no one sees <laughs> yeah so in a way sometimes when some of us are cosplaying we're really dressing up as ourselves for once. <laughs> getting, deep. getting deeper exactly yeah. nice yeah. nice I'm, that, a, uh, I'm a fairy <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to a very good point um so uh, one of the people that had actually come up to us um she was the sweetest, sweetest person. So super shy, like mm. absolutely like the, the smallest, sweetest thing ever. And she dressed up and wanted to dress up and get pointers on how to be Melina from Mortal Kombat. Wow. <laughs> and okay. so she's like, I really want this to like come out. I'm normally like such a shy person and I Ooh. really want that characteristic to come out. So yeah. how, do, how should I pose? You know, what should I do? And I'm like, you got to own it, girl. <laughs> you got to own it. And afterwards, she's like, oh, my God, I just had a photo shoot. It was amazing. I loved it. I feel so vibrant. I feel like on fire. I can do anything. <laughs> I'm like, That's you awesome. are fantastic. Yeah. 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 Cosplay is therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. So what are, um, in, uh, uh, I know some of our, our viewers are fascinated by cosplay, but have never really gotten into it. Mm -hmm. So what are some characters you guys like to cosplay and why like what what's mm. kind of draws you to those characters well it's tough to narrow down because we sure. typically at any given convention are cosplaying anywhere from like five to twelve costumes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's true yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's something that i think a lot of people don't realize is that cosplay isn't just oh i play as chun li every year no i mean some people do but yeah i mean i have a i'm, I'm very fortunate um to have one uh screen worn uh, Mord Sith costume mm, from Legend yes. of the Seeker. Wow. Uh, when the show was canceled, I was like, I have to have one. So I knew a friend who collected costumes for movies. Um, I'm going to be wearing that <laughs> until I'm 80. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks so good in it. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> After the celery and lettuce. <laughs> but, but nonetheless, uh, that's probably, like, I mm. think some, somewhat in the minority. Okay. Like, most people, from from my experience tend to just recreate themselves constantly and okay. are as you as you stretch your boundaries and um, you know broaden your horizons which with each new project now you want to try something new now mm. you want to like move on to a new material a new technique yeah. uh, some new skill caliber with mm. uh, with your costume so you know for anybody who's starting out who's not really familiar with it I always tell them like you know just do what you want. If you're not sure how, come to us. But you know. <laughs> right. But nonetheless, like, just try. Mm. None of us were born knowing this stuff. 
Mm -hmm. All of us started out as noobs and yep. probably didn't do things right. I mean, you know, if you talk to some of the celebrity cosplayers, you know, they will tell you the only reason why they became celebrity cosplayers is because they screwed up a million times. <laughs> and that made them experts. Yeah. That's yep. how we all, in anything in life, become experts at something. Yep. So I always tell people, like, at least try. Yeah. <laughs> try. But yeah. to your question, like, what do we commonly cosplay? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do fairy, a different version of a fairy every year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like fairies wear boots. I like badass characters, yeah. and like yeah. cute ones. And <laughs> we, uh, we, we try to do an interesting mashup every year if we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a um, Jedi uh, um, and Sith Disney princesses and villains one nice. year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, wow. Were you in the, uh, the evening gown Avengers group? <laughs> no, not the evening wow. gown Avengers group. Were, yeah, yeah, but we did uh, cool. adult Powerpuff Girls. Nice. That's right. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Those were very fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, another year, I was in a group uh, that did a Victorian steampunk version of the Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, mm. cool! Wow. I heard about that. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, like <laughs> last year it wasn't a mashup, but we did a Lego Movie Group. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, my boyfriend was Lord Business, all 12 feet of him. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little intense. With the flame. Cool. Yeah. Woo, that, yeah. was, that was interesting. So, so, like, I really can't narrow it down. Sure, yeah. Yeah. What draws you to fairies? Um, their playfulness, their uninhibition, their mysteriousness. Like, uh, I'm, it's I'm her inner self. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nature-y, so, mm -hmm. um, so, like, their connection to nature is mm -hmm. something I relate to. And... Um, you know, I mean, in, in fantasy and lore, too, uh, not just in, um, like, pagan traditions, but, mm. but you know, you make wishes through fairies, you know, you, you, uh, you're trans transported to magical lands through fairies, you know, like, uh, um, like some of my favorite movies, like Legend, uh. not exactly the best movie ever made, but <laughs> I love it, yeah. so fairy-tastic. <laughs> <laughs> I hear my nephew's into Twink Tinkerbell, so I'm like, oh, cool. yeah. 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 young Padawan. <laughs> I just do Legend. love Legend. I, I actually mm. have a um, Lord of Darkness statue Whoa. that big nice. at my house. Wow. wow. Uh, Tim Curry at his <laughs> best. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, I tend to cosplay not like main storyline characters. Yeah. I like to go for like the side characters, the ones that are not done as often, and usually uh, characters that are good with a hint of evil. Mm, interesting. So like Erd from Oh My Goddess. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah. Or like Elizabeth from Bioshock, where, you know, mm. she's all cute and innocent, and then you're like, oh, wait a second, <laughs> is she really? <laughs> It's like she's a fairy or something. And, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm curious, um, with with all these different characters, it, do cosplayers run into any issues with uh, content creators saying, oh, you can't use my character or mm. anything like that? I wouldn't say a direct, like, cease and desist kind of attitude, mm. but rather there has been some backlash recently with mm -hmm. artists and, um, like, I guess some of the old schooler comic book artists uh, yeah, that yeah. that they're I, I guess to them cosplay is kind of like watering down the mm -hmm. fandom a little bit mm -hmm. uh, or cheapening it I mean mm -hmm. I think that they might be assuming that most people are going to like the drugstore and buying like a little package sexy version of everything uh, yeah. it's not really what mm -hmm. cosplay is it's very different uh, it's more of an homage to the character exactly than it is, uh, yeah. precisely yeah. I mean you will get sexy versions of things but, <laughs> oh, yeah. but that's uh, not the point uh, people are really just like it's not enough to uh, own like all the DVDs and all the comic books mm -hmm. and every, and have a poster on your wall. <laughs> you transform into that character. You know, yeah. you dress up as a character, or you give your own take to that character. So, mm -hmm. um, some people are flattered by it. Some people feel similar to it as they do with like fanfic. Like, uh, keep your hands off my characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. You can't stop us. We're yeah. going to be cosplaying forever. Yeah. 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 With, with, with the group that you're getting together, is there going to be pattern share? I mean, I suppose there's, oh, there's yeah. certain templates mm -hmm. that you can use and share and mm -hmm. work from a, a base. Pattern so if shares, somebody comes in. Like, uh, um, I also hope that we can have um, like costume piece swaps. 
I don't know mm-hmm. if you've ever gone to a yeah. clothing swap, but like yeah. Yeah. stuff, gotcha. people are like, I'm probably mm-hmm. never going to use this Red Riding Hood cape again. Yeah. So is anybody need it? Material, <laughs> but I don't need it anymore. Mm. Somebody need this. So <laughs> something else that we're doing with our space is we're going to have like a donation area where nice. anyone who's ever really done sewing, you know, you buy this fabric and you buy this thread and you use a portion of it and the rest of it you're never in your life going to use because you're never going to need that color. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you going to do with it? You don't want to just toss it. If you donate it to the space, someone else might be able to use that later. So we're really hoping to have that, you know, a community space where anyone can like uh, donate items and pick up items to kind of help out, uh, lower your costs on some of your cosplay stuff, uh, as well as have free and accessible stuff right there in the space that you can nice. start up a project yeah that's awesome sharing resources mm-hmm. knowledge experience mm-hmm. materials yeah. yeah lending a hand sharing ideas mm-hmm. this sounds fantastic yeah, yeah. <laughs> we think so too yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well and I, I can imagine um and i'm, I'm sure you've been approached about this uh, to some extent is you know, the, the potential for this for larger scale cosplay where suddenly you have the space to actually attempt some of these things um, what are some of those kinds of things that you think folks could actually attempt with a, this kind of space? Um, well, I think mm-hmm. one of the big things uh, that I'm really excited to see is how many groups reach out to us for doing group cosplays for like masquerades. Because uh, usually you'll have like a masquerade building party and you'll have like a few members that come together to someone's house. Instead of getting their house dirty, now they can come <laughs> to our space and maybe do like a, oh, we want, you know, to book out this area of the space and we're going to do a... Uh, a big building project that's all Final Fantasy characters or wow. all, you know, Evangelion characters mm. for the weekend and anyone is able to join us and yeah. I'm really excited to see what the community asks for. Cool. Yeah. And on an individual scale, I mean, it would be great to see people able to make like enormous like Voltron armor. I mean, mm. I want to I want to do I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off this year, but I want to <laughs> do RC from Transformers Prime. The one that turns into a motorcycle. Not the old school pink version. Okay, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No. The really cool, sleek one. (laughs) That's a huge, it's a Mm -hmm. huge thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I need space. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So hopefully, at least on an individual scale, people will be able to really expand uh, and raise the bar on their own projects as well. Cool, cool. It it sounds like with, with the community support that you already have, that you will soon encounter... Uh, a, a number of folks who want to join who had not heard of this before and a crowd dr- generally draws a crowd do you have plans for future expansion uh, mm. or possibly even franchising because I know mm. being one of the first groups to do this the first the yeah. first yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I've never heard of anybody doing yeah, so yeah. the first as the first uh, do you do you envision this catching on in other cities or expanding? Mm-hmm. It has already. People are begging, please, can we open a chapter for, of Studio Cosplay yep. in our city? And we're like, nice. sure. Once we get set he- settled here, yep, mm-hmm. and get the machine well oiled, yep. we'll so, have to get set up. I mean, cool. our idea is that we want to show that this is a sustainable model to have a lot of those kinks worked out. So we kind of pave the way for the next. Uh, chapter to be opened up. Uh, I think we have a, a group of people already up in PA that would love to have this going. You know, once they see that we can do this, they could be like, oh, we're just going to take this model and go. Whew. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of demand in New York City for this right now. Too. And New York City as well, yeah. yes. New York? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, West Coast, there's a, several places in the South that have said, let's, let's go. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, yeah. Lots of options. Cool. Nice. Any other questions? Let's see. Uh, our viewers had some questions. I think we've actually covered yeah, pretty much all of them. Covered. Yeah. You guys did a great see. job of covering all that. Fantastic. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. How did you come up with Dasha? Dasha is my oh. name. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so on, 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 on Fairies Wear Boots is not your real name. Do you, do, do you generally use your mm. uh, cosplay name when you're out at conventions or at conventions yeah um yeah like Like once we get to know a person then and we're friends yeah we typically Mm. know each other's real names but by necessity some cosplayers who have jobs that might you know give them a hard time if they knew they cosplayed and dressed up as like you know Mm -hmm. spider-man on the weekends (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) like to keep those lives separate you know we have uh like facebook pages for cosplay um 
you know, it's not that big a deal in this country if you happen to wear costumes on the weekend and be an accountant during the week. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, it is do or do or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Dasha, I mean, I'm Russian, so Daria uh, is my full name. Dasha is the nickname. Uh, Dasha, Dashutka, Dashish, Danjka, you know, a whole bunch of them. Sure. So at home, I'm called Dasha. All of my really close friends call me Dasha. Yeah. I also adopted that as my dagger here name for the foam weapon fighting. Oh, cool. Gotcha. And um, nice. so I was like, hey, well, you know, Daria and Dasha, <laughs> Dasha cosplay. Nice. <laughs> that works. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well. I want to thank you guys for uh, for, for being here and, and taking part so of this. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, you bet. Yeah. And thank hopefully you. hopefully in the future we can check in with you again and yeah. see how it's coming along and see Absolutely. the success. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, some costumes. Yes. <laughs> We'd love to have you in our space as soon as we open. There we yes. go. Cool. I was going to say, hopefully soon we can, uh, you know, give you guys a tour. Sweet. And love for, to. for all the folks out there, again, the website was? Studiocosplay.org. We're mm -hmm. also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, everywheres. <laughs> it's all studio <laughs> cosplay. Yep. Yeah. Check them out. Cool. Cool. And if you think of any other questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Our, yep. In fact, our email address is contact us at studiocosplay.org. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Sure, you bet.